Thank you for tuning in to watch Sixto. My name's Sixto. Today is a review on my Bulova Mecanica machine. Reference number 98A as an Alpha 224. Sorry for the delay on this little gem. Uh, <clears throat> just been busy with a whole bunch of other stuff and got a big old box that got shipped into me for for me to do what I want. So far, there's seven watches I'm working through to review, checking them all out individually, seeing what is up with them, but I digress. Let's get back into this this beautiful Bulova skeleton dial. As you can see, it's a skeleton dial. Nice, beautiful uh, stainless steel case. Almost has a, the Tissot and um, I'm drawing the blank on the and the Royal Oak vibe because it's a a special unique band. Because you you take this out, this will be open. I'm almost tempted of buying a Tesso a Tesso um, leather strap to see if it would fit, give it a different look. I don't honestly, I don't hate this thing still, not. Uh, the butterfly clasp it's a hit and miss and right now I got lucky where it is spot on on my wrist very little wiggle room which is nice always a pain because when you when you set it and you accidentally fold your wrist when you curl your wrist in and you actually hit the pushers and that will pop up and you can feel it just dangling on your wrist not always a fun case, especially when you uh, when you put good money into a watch that you want to keep long term. But I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure there's more people that hate the butterfly class than I do, but it's actually pretty cool, and they actually have that signed. Try to get some of the. Stainless steel, it's a smudge magnet, so that's going to be a downside. And you can see the hairline. You can see all the scratches that the previous owner did to it. Which you could take a buffer or a cake cut to it and polish it up really nice. But I'm going to put scratches on there because it's going to eventually rub onto something. It's pretty cool, unique. You got the 2 o'clock crown position. And that crown is signed. It's a uh, not. It's hand wine. And it's automatic. And uh, speaking of the movement, it is a Miota Eight N as a Nancy Two Six movement. It is based off the um, 8200 series, the the 8000 series, and they just skeletonized it to make it what you see. Can we get it to focus? There we go. Look at that! You can see the balance wheel in action. And wonder could be seen. I'm gonna have to zoom in a little, so bear with me, kids. So, right where the two o'clock crown is at, I'm trying to get it, there's a little wheel that helps the. Let me see that right there is showing you how how the uh, the gears are moving when when you wind it manually wind it's showing you that you put intention to it you got the ratchet wheels going and you give the power to the balance wheel because you can't see it behind where is my pointer? 
right behind the biloba, there's a, a mainspring that is uh, in a solid case, getting all the tension. So pretty much all the coils are, instead of being loose like, like your fingers are, they're getting bunched up together so they could be a solid. That's how you get your uh, power reserve. So it's on a 21 joule movement. It beats at 21,600. And they tested this at a, why they tested it? At a, just a left angle of a 49 degree. They tested it. Mm, excuse me. And it's a, a parashock. So that's their version of a, a shock absorber. So it allowed to take um, a little bump. Like, let's see if I can focus onto that part. So, that little uh, jewel that you can see on the balance wheel. If I could get it to focus, please. It doesn't want to focus today. Oh, you little bugger. But there's a balance wheel. Now it's covered by the rotor. That little uh, gem or jewel. There's a little protective sleeve on there that creates the, the shock absorber so it can withstand uh, subtle shocks, not like full-blown uh, bashing your wrist on the wall shocks. Uh, it's a 42, 42 power reserve, so you could wear this for for a day, and you need to pick it up. Be two days, right? Okay. Yeah. In two days, then on the final, almost the, the end of the second day, you could pick it up and give it a shake. And there she goes. And you can see her right there. The balance wheel. So it, it hacks in hand wise. Let's see. This guy doesn't hand wind, or it doesn't hack, to be precise. So that right there is already a false info. So that's not cool. Let me pan out a little bit. So I can give you the full dimensions of the measurements. So minus the downfall of the quote unquote hacking. So it's not a hackable movement. Since the way this uh, bracelet is sitting, let me get in focus. Because from lug to lug, I'm measuring it from this guy to this guy. I got it at 60, 6, 0 on the dot. The thickness, since I got it here, at 12.9. I didn't measure the crumb. Let's do that right now. Let's see. Hopefully I can. And 6.9 for the crown. So that's 12.9, 6.9. Um, from the 9 to 3, measured at 40, 46.2. A mineral crystal front and back, not a sapphire, which it's okay. Easier to buff the scratches out. And on the wrist, I'm wearing my my turtle uh, GMT. Let me know in the comments below if you ever, if you saw a turtle GMT before. I almost want to take the claim that I I'm the first one, but I could be wrong. So here it is on my seven and three quarter inch wrist. Nice little uh, gilt indices matching the hand and. Where the automatic, it's also gold. The sub second, if there was a sub second dial. Let me know what you guys think about Bulova. Do you have any in your collection? And what is your top Bulova that you would like to own if you 
are a fan of them. Thank you for tuning in. If you made it this far, I really appreciate it. Until the next one, you guys have a good one. Bye.